It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? So, we're neighbors again today. And don't worry, the Hulk is with us too. But today we're going to talk about some individuals who weren't such good neighbors. In fact, they actually fought a lot. And that was the people of the American West in the mid-1800s. Specifically today, we're going to talk about the Mexicanos and those silly little minor 49ers. You see, like we talked about before, Mexico declared independence from Spain. And in 1830, they gave huge plots of land to rich Mexicans in California so that they could start ranchos. They focused on raising cows and cattle to sell meats, highs, and fat. They were vaqueros, or the original cowboys. However, in 1848, when Mexico lost all of the land to the United States because of the war, they started to be forced out of their homes by a new American settlers. Let's take a little look at that. Who are you? I didn't expect any visitors, and I don't want any trouble either. Don't worry, I don't mean you any trouble. Or do I? <laughs> do you? I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Um, of course I don't mean any trouble, good sir. You know, we're friends here. But uh, seeing as America owns this land now, I thought I would uh, take an opportunity to move on out here. And seeing as you've lived here for such a long time, I thought maybe I could uh, learn a thing or two about living in the wild, wild west. I have lived here a very long time, and I suppose there are some things I could show you. But this is not America's land. This is my ranch. Mm. Well, sir, that's where you're wrong. You see, this is actually all America's land now. Even you. You should be happy. You're an American citizen now, son. Congratulations. Thank you. Here, take a seat. I'll tell you about the Rancho way of life. Don't mind if I do. Gracias. De nada. Alright, uh-huh. So, uh, you said this is a rancho? What, what? Uh, yes, my friend. Th this here, my home. This is my rancho. And here, I grow fruits of my native country, of Spain, like the orange. And on top of that, the orange. I am also a vaquero. A, a vacuum? Uh, uh, no, a, a vaquero. A vaqueros. We... We work with the cattle, uh, cows. I am a, you could say, a, a cowboy. Hmm, like the sound of that. What, what are you writing, friend? Um, uh... Oh, uh, you know, you know, just uh, r writing some notes and stuff, uh, making sure I don't forget anything, but uh, I will say one thing. I'm uh, kind of intrigued, I want you to I want you to teach me how how to be a vaquero. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Very well, my friend. I will show you the way. I like it. Okay, my friend. So first, you need these. The chaparejos to protect you from thorny bushes. <clears throat> and then, my friend, you need this. A larieta to wrangle the cattle and the cows. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, good. Yep. All right. All right, my friend. Now there's only one more thing that you need, and that is your trusty steed. Onward, Toko. Ha! And that is how you do it, my friend.
Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it. So, do you care if I try? Well, of course. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, that's, that's senor? Wait, what's going on? Uh, senor! Oh, I, I thought you were just... It was a joke the whole time. I thought you were ste stealing it from me. Wait, what, what does that sign say? Wait. Technically, the Mexicanos were Americans now, but most settlers just saw them as foreigners. Most of them were pushed out of their old lands. Ranches and crops were burned, cattle were shot and killed, and soon the rancho way of life was no more. But the new cowboy culture of the West actually got most of its inspiration from the Mexicans and the Vaqueros. But why did so many settlers move out West into these lands? Well, for lots of reasons. But two main ones. One was because of their land. There was so much open, open, of course, because we're taking it from the natives, the Mexicans and other individuals that were already there, open, unclaimed land. However, there was something else. In 1849, a precious mineral was found flowing out of the Sierra Nevada River in California. Do you know what that was? That's right, Holt. It was gold. Whenever news got out that there was gold in California, people from all around the world started trying to get their own. And these people were called 49ers. Let's take a look at some of them now. It's a pretty good find today, Ralph. Got it all stored up in the shack. Sure, I'm glad I have you here. I really miss my family back home, but couldn't miss out on this chance to pay off my debts. Here, why don't you put it away? Freeze right there. Don't move. We don't want any trouble. Don't shoot. I'm, I'm by myself and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm unarmed. I'm just looking for other miners that I can pan with. Go on ahead. You can join us. Thank you. I know what it's like out here. Lonely in the West. Luckily, I got my friend Ralph here. You just don't know who you can trust. But uh, what's your name, Traveler? My name is Todd. All right, Todd. Tell you what, you can join us for some panning tomorrow. I think three people will get more gold than two. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ralph. See here, Todd. The Sierra Nevada's rivers are brimming with gold. You take your pan, stick it down in there, and then you shake it. All those lighter materials will spill out. And what you're left with is pure gold. Take care of that one, Ralph. Is that real? Let me see that. Check for yourself. It's real gold. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I could pay for my daughter's surgery in no time. You think that's a lot of gold? Come back to our shed. We'll show you what we found so far. Let's go, Ralph. And here's where we keep the real treasure. Just take a look at that. Uh, what, what do you mean? Ralph, dang it! I don't know. Sorry, son. The real treasure is right here. Why, that's more gold than I've ever seen. Ah, ah, call the doctor. Are you okay? But not for me. I don't even have a daughter. The gold's mine. The Wild West was a dangerous place, neighbor. 
There is no government in the gold fields. Miners just elected their own officials and made their own rules. To protect their belongings and their claims, they would often just use their guns and their own sense of justice. A man who stole a miner's horse or gold was likely to be hanged. And gold quickly became very hard to find. Most people left California no richer than before. However, many of them chose to stay in California, which helped give the state the population. All right, neighbors. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and visiting. Because it's been a wonderful day in the neighborhood, but Mr. Nunley's done for good. Like, comment, subscribe, just like you should, and thanks for being a neighbor. Why are you still here? I have things to do that aren't social studies. Go away.